This is for all the Rick Stein fans out there. The fish chef. I've got his collection series exclusive to the channel. So I'm gonna go through some of his accessories we've got here. So first of all, we've got the lemon squeezer. As you can see, it's got the face of a fish. Quite slim, thin, stainless steel. It's got the rims here. If you look here, that's where you put your slice of lemon in and you push down to squeeze. So it's nice and simple. So it works quite effectively. All you do, squeeze your lemon. Slice will be fine. You can't do a whole lemon on these. You get two. You don't get that many, you just get two. Two slices and you can squeeze your lemon. Simple, works easy, very lightweight. Have to say it's way the thin. It doesn't have any logo on this for some reason. So some of it I've looked at it, it doesn't have his logo. I've got next one on the line is it's the oyster crack. Again, this gone for the rustic look. Very lightweight, simple design, quite cheap. Fe feels kind of flimsy. All you do put your oyster in there and crack it. Simple. It doesn't have his logo like on the other product I'll explain. Because it seems to be the item is gone for, yeah, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be in my range. I picked it, let's go. Simple, rustic design, uh, very poor quality, I have to say. The next one is slightly more nicer. It's the garlic zester. And basically all you do, get this, got a heart shape there. These spikes here, they're very sharp. So all you do is zest, keep on zesting your, it doesn't have a hole underneath. So it's got its Rick Stein logo on this one, on the other ones he doesn't. And it's got a little circle with like, lines through it I don't know why he's done it that's his design I'm not a big fan of Rick Stein so I don't know much about him but he does really great fish food and everything so that's his garlic other one we've got accessory wise I'll get more when more comes in I'll show you more I'll show you his pan range and his fish frying pan and his other gadgets as here I've got his traditional salt and pepper this is basic glass plastic with the hole and you just drop it down simple again glass plastic for the vinegar you pour it comes out it's got the Rick Stein sign there so he's got his logo to identify him that's his image with the water splashing over with his circle and the Rick Stein name on it on the back as you can see is the vine vinegar one got salt and pepper now you got the vinegar right at the back, slightly taller. This will take about a few, uh, slightly small handful of that much about of salt and pepper in there. So it's a small, you know, when you go to your local chip shop, that's the size you're gonna get. The vinegar bottle, again, glass, the Rick Stein logo, and it pours out nice and easily. These are replaceable, so you can take this off, put that on there. Twist it around, bum, done. That's all you need to do and it pulls out. So you can move one head to another. You do get uh, these nozzles with all of them. It's just easy portability, easy movability. So it's not much to it. Rick Stein, have to say the lemon squeezer is, doesn't make any sense. Why go for that? It feels flimsy, feels really poor. The crab feels slightly sturdier, but still the quality, the design is very poor on it. Only one I have to say is really comes out is the garlic zester. These are simple. Now I've got the scallop dish and the soup bowl by Rick Stein. So it's ceramic creamy finish to it. It's got the scallop ribs as you can see all the way around. You can use it as a soap dish if you do want to do or a savory dish. It's all up to you. It's got the nice shape to it. It's a bit more work gone to this uh, than these other ranges we have gone through in the Rick Stein range. So it's, it's work, it seems to work a little bit harder on this. Again, you can see his name on it, Rick Stein, where you hold it. It's got these ribs around it, just gives it uh, like a normal scallop. So it's worked slightly harder on this. Nice, simple design. It's seven centimeter from there to there. So it's a good size. Add a cup. Then we've got the soup dish. Soup dish again, 
It's got a picture of a prawn. Nice shape to it again. It's got like a creamy white finish to it. Good depth. It will take 0.4 liters. So not much suit, but good enough for a person. Again, round finish to it. So move. It looks like it's put a bit more work to it. But the thing with the Rigstein range, it seems like he's seen in the shops. This is going to be what I want. It's already made to stamp my logo on it. That's why I get the feeling for it. Rick Stein stamped on things he's seen around. And I get the feeling he hasn't gone through like the other popular chefs where let's let's make this let's make this shape, that shape, let's do it this way, that way. He doesn't see does I don't get the feeling he's gone for that. But it's it's an okay range. I have to say I'm very, very disappointed by his range. I'll go through a few more stuff in his gadget collection in the new future but it's it's been simple so soup bowl scallop dish nice shape to it it's not extravagant not too bland but not my taste so let's go and look at a few more things now in front of me i've got the mussel and the fish tapas dish so with this it's made of terracotta as you can see here shaped as a fish or a whale and terracotta is usually you can use it on gas but this is more for decoration you put your savouries in there it's got dark blue finish quite a nice quite brittle terracotta finish so it's made of earthenware it's made in 2017 with Rick Stein's logo all different sizes the dark blue again at the bottom Rick Stein logo largest dish again with the Rick Stein logo it's blue inside nice somebody who like fishes a lot will get this and you put your savouries in there so let me give you the measurements of all of them the smallest one is just over 13 centimeters from here to here so good size very small not gonna get much in there but it's the smallest you need different sizes so it's the smallest one you can get a little amount in there the larger one is is just over 20 centimeters that's the middle size and the largest let's measure that and tell you just over 25 centimeters that's this one here larger so you can get quite a few things and it's if you love fish you would love this tapas dish it's nice earthenware with the dark blue sea finish to it now on the left we have the mussel container that's what it is mussel container it's got the lid here nice blue finish with enamel coating it's very lightweight steel again Rickstein's logo at the bottom as you can see here it's got his logo not much to it I haven't used it because I'm not a muscle person but it's simple design one's slightly larger one's slightly bigger. all you do is put it on top and you're done simple design let me give you the measurements as usual and they, it's this compact you can buy them bigger smaller it's very compact Let's look at the mesh size itself. It is 17 centimeters by 19 centimeters. Round, compact, easy to put in muscles, and it will cook your muscles very easily. It's not very extravagant, as you see in the other ranges in this range. They are simple, okay design. Yeah, that's all it's to it. I can't say massive things about it, because I have been disappointed in this range, as I have said throughout the video. So, let's carry on. The other two ranges I've got in the Rick Stein range, wine cooler and a whale salt pig. Now let's talk about the wine cooler first of all. It's made of terracotta with enameled glaze finish there. So terracotta is type of material, it's earthenware. So it can keep things cool, so if you wet it, put something cool there spreads throughout bottom from tip and everything and it keeps everything cool so if you put your wine bottle in here it will okay, stay cool for a couple of hours about two three hours while you're drinking the coolness will spread and it'll stay cool for a little while so that's the good thing about this you don't need to buy a steel 
wine cooler. You don't need to buy a mechanical wine cleaner or cooler or an electrical one. If you've got a terracotta one, wet this, put a cool bottle on and that will keep it cool for a while. Absolutely. You can keep it warm for a while as well because terracotta is usually quite heat proof as well. So it's a nice design. Let me give you the measurements. 29 centimeters top to bottom by 10.2 centimeters on the round rim, the width. So it's a nice small size, compact, standard size. You can buy any wine cooler that size easily, peasily. Now my favorite out of all of this range is this terracotta salt pig. As you can see, it's got the little eyes there, not little dinky eyes. Again, Rick Stein logo, oval, slightly coval, egg-shaped finish, so it can stand his dark, his cove finish inside. So as you can see inside, it's very dark, very blue, that's his theme, and he's made this terracotta. It looks very nice, I have to say. It's made all of terracotta, I'm saying. It's, if you do wet it, it will have a smooth surface. It's a rough finish. Sides with this, you pinch off salt, you can easily fit in. My hands are small, so my hands go in quite easily. Sorry about the shake and wake, but it goes in the hand. If you have a massive hand, you're gonna find it harder. If you've got a small to medium hand, it will be absolutely fine. Nice dark blue finish. Let me give you the measurements of this, because this, I like this. It's 21 centimeters, but 12 centimeters width. Nice, compact terracotta. Have to say it's very fragile. I don't like the feel of terracotta, that's just me. I just don't like it, it feels odd to me. It doesn't, it feels rough, it gives me kind of iffy feel, but you personally may like it. It's nice, it's very, it's very rustic finish. It's not durable, it's not fancy, it's gone for very basic, very poor looking design. I have to say, um, the whole range, as I was saying, yeah, I'm a bit iffy with it. Some been good, some been mediocre, but most of it has been poor. This has been the Rick Stein range. So let's go through the other ranges and finish this whole thing off. But if you have like watching this, if you like the things, I'll leave, I'll try to leave all the details at the bottom as usual, if I can. So let's go. Our last one in our Rick Stein look is a storage jar. That ceramic storage jar, wooden top with a rope finish so it's supposed to represent the countryside supposed to represent the sea and the image of Rick Stein it's got its logo with the ocean fluttering through white cotton white finish to it wood oak wood lid simple design works really really it's I have to say it's just his logo there on the bottom it's got these soft silicone studs and ceramic finish with his name, logo indicating it's designed and made in 2017. So it's a nice dish, rope lid, it's got the silicone seal, rope so it represents the sea, represents the ships and everything that pulls off suction there. It's all white inside and out, nice simple design and it's has to say it's a medium sized storage, there's not anything fancy about it, not something extravagant. It's okay, I have to say. It's his whole range has been okay. It's not something I would personally really really want to buy, but if you do like Rick Stein, if you like his series, if you like his designs, absolutely go for it. So let me give you the measurements itself. It's 16 from here to here by 11 centimeters from there to there. The height and the depth, or the width, whichever way you want to look at it. So it's a nice size, it's a medium size, not much, you can't get much in there, you won't get too less, so it's a good size for your fish and everything, or whichever you want to keep in there. It's a storage jar, so you can put anything in there. It won't be your dried fish or things like that. If you do want to, that's what it's for, it's Rick Stein there. You may do, it's a fishy guy, so you may have fish in there, but you can put any other thing there. Hope you have enjoyed One Home. If you have, please share and subscribe and have fun.
thank you for watching thank you for listening goodbye and good night and see you in the next episode bye bye <laughs>